ஜாவாஸ்கிரிப்ட் ஃப்ரேம்ஒர்க்ஸ் லைக் ரியாக்ட் அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் இயர்ஸ் and uh, also know uh, back end web development with python frameworks like fast api and flask as well as node js okay um can you please describe in brief about the exposure you gained during your internship in mindra and mindra yes uh, so uh, working at a big company like mahindra and mahindra uh, there was a lot of things that i learned specifically when it comes to uh, like how work is uh, done in corp- big corpus and how uh, interns uh, how technology and uh, is driven by uh, the work done by interns here so i think that's a great thing a great initiative in the data science team at, at mahindra that a uh, lot of the development work is uh, given to the interns and uh, because of this uh, we gain a lot of experience and yeah uh other than that also i learned about like uh the different uh mostly uh devops practices which i wasn't aware of before because as we know like uh, we can develop our application and usually we just keep it on our local host we don't deploy it anywhere so that exposure uh working with the ci cd pipeline with jenkins and then deploying it on google cloud platform using kubernetes engine that was a new thing for me what to know about it uh, could you please share your initial expectations and to what extent extent do you think that those were fulfilled right so coming into this internship uh, this is my first internship so i obviously expected to learn a lot of new things and uh, i'm happy to say that that expectation has been fulfilled beyond my expectations uh, i've learned a lot of new things uh, lot of new technologies specifically related to the cloud uh, i've also improved a lot of my uh, existing skills i got to extensively work on the front end of many data analytics applications and uh, so my react skills have tremendously improved during this internship experience and uh, yeah so i also uh, expected to uh, learn a bit more about uh, how big companies function like the hierarchy and how uh we need different uh, permissions and uh, signatures and approvals so i also learned a lot about that uh, which might not have happened if i worked at a startup or a smaller company uh and yeah uh, i didn't expect to uh, get so much hands on experience because uh, it's a big company but uh, contrary to that uh, i got to work a lot uh, like uh, in my field in software development so yeah i'm also happy to share that but you know reflecting on your role what significant insights for learning do you think you have been uh <clears throat> in terms of learning uh, i think i've strengthened uh, my existing skill set like i said uh, i am mostly a front end developer but uh, here i also got to work uh, on the entire application as a whole so the full stack uh, i was uh, i learned a lot about a uh, good uh coding practices and uh, debugging methods as well as uh, how important developer testing is conducting unit tests integration tests so uh, this whole uh, sdlc software development life cycle uh, that mahindra has uh, to uh, uh, that the data science team has to produce uh, and release uh, applications at an extremely fast uh, pace following the agile method uh, that was uh, so uh that was basically what i've uh, come to respect actually 
like a uh, continuous delivery to the client and uh, getting feedback from the stakeholders uh this is one of the key insights that i learned okay uh, could you please describe the interview process you went through to secure this support okay uh, so artisat uh, had come on campus uh, offering this internship uh, with mahendra and mahendra and uh, first there was an online assessment round uh, if i recall correctly it were it consisted of uh, 20 multiple choice questions and uh, uh, clearing that round required you to get uh, 17 out of 20 correct so uh, post the online assessment round there was a group discussion round uh, but instead of a group discussion it was more like a rapid fire quiz round in which uh, the interviewer was asking uh, like a uh, web development or data science questions and the first person to raise their hand would get the opportunity to answer and then if they cannot answer or the interviewer uh, is not uh, like uh, satisfied with the answer then they can pass it on to the next person so this was the second uh, group discussion slash uh, quiz uh, round and uh, the third round uh, i think was taken by mahendra uh, it was a python uh, slash data science round in which uh, i was asked mainly questions related to python programming and uh, i was also asked to code uh, a few like uh, uh, dsa uh, data structures in python like binary search tree for example was asked in my interview and yeah i had to show it by sharing my screen uh, on an online compiler and code from scratch then uh, after that was the final round with so uh, in that final round they were mostly asking me about my projects and uh, like uh, what do i expect to learn and what i can contribute to the company and uh, mostly project related questions and then uh, when sir saw that my expertise was in front end development he called uh, one of the employees uh, who then took a front end interview for me alongside that uh, so yeah these were the four rounds that uh, i had uh, before getting the offer letter um okay so at last can you briefly share your observations or experiences regarding the work culture at mahindra and mahindra right so the work culture at mahindra is uh, to be honest it's very great especially for the employees uh, like uh, there's no like discrimination and uh, the interns are free to ask uh, any of the managers or any of the senior employees about any doubts there's nothing like they won't help you or anything they always uh, are willing to help and uh, there's no like uh, strict hierarchy as such like uh, you don't have to call anyone sir or ma'am you can just uh, like call them by the phone and they'll be fine with it in fact they encourage us to do so uh and uh, yeah among the interns also there's uh, a lot of collaboration there's uh, a lot of respect between us all for the different skills that we bring to the table and uh, yeah there's no like uh there's no like overtime uh, as such like you are free to work until your work is completed you can also leave like the early if you have some other engagement and you can come to office uh, based on like right now in mumbai it's raining very heavily so even though office hours are from 9 o'clock uh, like we are given some leeway to come until 9:30 10 o'clock as well so i think uh, the work culture is great and uh, they promote individualism and the uh, diversity here at mahindra is also great okay vinay thank you so much for giving a valuable time that's all for today's session yeah thank you for having me sakshi